as they listen back. So um, welcome to our Treasure Tribe Thrive in 30 uh, Monday night call. I am so excited to um, introduce our guest speaker tonight. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Christy Goodman, and I am a company vice president with Park Lane and obviously a part of this Treasure Tribe. And um, have an amazing new lady that joined our team and could not be more excited to have her take this opportunity not only to introduce herself, but to show us some incredible leadership skills as well as some of her talents. Um, and she offered to share these on her own. And I was like, yes, Debbie, yes. So anyway, Senior Director or Senior Division, um, Debbie McAnally, I almost wanted to say the wrong name, uh, McAnally. And Debbie lives in Little Rock, Arkansas, and joined us about what, Debbie? Actually, let's unmute you now. Let's see. It hasn't been very long. Okay, there you are. Like I think just last week. 10 days or something. Yeah, I mean, maybe. seven days, something like that. And um, has been with LuLaRoe for five years? Four. Four years. And does a lot of live training. Uh, not training, a lot of lives. And so... Um, we were talking about our topics that we do on these Monday Night Thrive and 30 calls. She was like, I'd be happy to share. So I was like, yes, we would love it. So Debbie, welcome to the Treasure Tribe and welcome to our Monday Night Call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm having so much fun so far um, with Park Lane and Lula Road together. I think it's such a compliment um, for both of them. Um, you know, with our clothes, clearly, because I love these Marley's, love them. Um, but I was so excited um, when they were kind of talking about things they wanted, you know, wondered if people knew or trained on or whatever. And they said lives. I was like, man, I, I, I can do that. <laughs> and here, this is what's so cool about it is when we first started four years ago, when we start, when I started Little Row, when Little Row kind of started, um, everything was just in home. So it was, there was, we didn't do Facebook Live. We didn't sell on Facebook, actually. We literally were just in people's homes, getting people in our homes and selling that way. So when the whole Facebook scene kind of came on and they started talking about lives and stuff, I was like terrified. I was like, are you kidding me? There is no way I'm going to get on this thing with people I do not know and talk, No, n not to mention sell stuff. So it was really, really new for me about two years ago, and it was terrifying. Um, number one, because I think what is so scary to me and people think is so scary about live sales is you feel extremely vulnerable, and I can talk faster than my brain works, so I can trip over my words super easy, um, and sometimes you, I, I think I'm just going to draw a blank. Like, I'm not even going to know what the color blue is. So all of these fears in my head, and then it was like, this is the direction everything was going. And if you notice on Facebook today, you can find anything, like any boutique, anything is live, people are going live. And so I kind of just had to dive in with both feet. Thankfully, Lularo is so good about training us, and they did a lot of trainings, but trainings are one thing, and doing it is actually another so you can get all the training that you want and need and take in all this knowledge, but you really have to dive out there and just do it in order to figure out what it's like. So I wanted to, first of all, tell you why you should go live and then give you some of the logistics on how to kind of have some successful lives. The most important thing that we do, and, and Parkland is based a little bit around the same way. That's why I was attracted to it is it's a lot about the in-home which I think is legit the best way to do um, this gorgeous story because people can feel it and see it and see the quality and all that kind of stuff. But adding lives into, especially if you have a Facebook page, adding lives into what you do can even bring you more success. And here's the reason why. One of the things that is so important that going live does is it actually builds your community let's face it you have certain people that you buy things from because you like them right everybody does everybody has certain people that buy things from because you just like them you connect with them um they're you feel like they're your friends even if you've never met them and it's because of that community that you built with that person when you've seen that person live so going live is kind of the same thing. It's actually building a community. All of us, if you have Facebook pages and I actually haven't made my Park Lane one yet, that's my top agenda for tomorrow. 
um, I'm thinking another page to manage, but if you have a page and people are joining your page, you've got to build a community on that page because everybody that all of my customers, they're not just from Little Rock. I have customers as far as Hawaii. Okay. So you can't build a community with people out of state by just sitting behind a computer and just posting, Hey, this is for sale. That's for sale because everybody's doing that. What you have to start to think about in your head is your lives are what's going to set you apart with your community. It's what's going to make people connect with you. It's where people are going to find their common ground with you. Um, it's where I have some of my best customers that are my friends. We are opposite as night and day in how we are, but we've made that connection via our live community to where we are literally friends. They are not just customers of mine. They are actually friends. And that's what that is to me above selling above everything else. That is the most important thing that you can do with your Facebook live, especially, especially as um, Park Lane stylists is begin to build that community. You want people to get to know you and you want people to get a glimpse into your life and going live is phenomenal for that. So let's talk about what are some of the things you can do to build your community in a life. Okay. Everybody knows in my group that I do not cook. Okay. I just don't. Once my kids graduated, it was like, peace out, babe, the kitchen is yours. My husband loves to cook. It's therapy for him. And I'm like therapy away. I don't care. So usually Monday nights he cooks for me and then my um, son and daughter-in-law come over. And when my granddaughter does cheer, they come over. So almost every single Monday night, you can see me going live with nothing more than what he's cooking. So I just get my camera and I go live and I'm like, what's, what's Superman cooking for dinner? That's the name my group gave my husband. And I jump on and we go through, I mean, he tells how he made it. And I'm like, oh my God, can't you guys just smell the garlic? And we open the oven and show them the garlic bread. And they know that's a part of our life. And so that gives us a connection with our people. It can be the most random thing. If you have dogs and you're sitting there with your dogs one day on the couch, go live. If you love cats and your cats are doing something, go live. Just let people get a glimpse into your life by going live on your page. It doesn't have to be long. Some of my lives are like a minute and 45 seconds. I'm just showing people... Um, as far as building my community, I'm just showing people a glimpse into our life. So that's one way that you can use that as a park lane stylist is get people to get to know you through going live. Does that make sense? I can't see anyone. I think I need to, I can't see anybody. So I don't know. I think there's like ah, a gallery. <laughs> okay. So is that good? All right. So building community is great. Hey babe, would you mind getting me a pair of a two or three pairs of the earrings off my thing in there just pick some pretty ones um so building your community is crucial to what the end of this is going to be about so make that your main goal over the next few days just practice i have gone live with no makeup on before i have gone live putting on my makeup i have gone live i mean i don't always look put together when i go live because let's just face it that's not real life right I have gone live in the morning with a coffee cup in my hand and nothing but fake eyelashes on. I mean, it's, you want people to see you. You don't want them to see you always put together because that's not how people live. Okay. And if that's the way you come across to people, people are not going to connect with that. They want real people to connect with. Um, I don't care what kind of consultant or stylist you are. They want pe real people to connect with. So I hope that makes sense on that point. Okay. The second one is, it is a great way to show your product. Catalogs are amazing. Let's just face it in, um, Park Lane does an amazing job with their catalog. I love how everything's coordinated. That helps with my OCD. But let's just face it, it's one thing for me to see these in a catalog, but when you see this on my ear, you realize how amazingly gorgeous this earring is. I mean, right? It's so different. You could show when you get your new, okay, so we're all going to convention. I'm going to convention. Can't wait. We're all going to convention. We get to purchase new jewelry. What an amazing way to do a sneak peek of your jewelry, but to literally go, oh my gosh, you guys, I got this amazing box of jewelry at convention. It just got here. UPS just dropped it in my door. We're going to open this together. And then you open up your box in front of them. You're like, holy, we're pretending. Holy cow, you guys, look at these earrings. Those are absolutely gorgeous. The catalog doesn't even do these justice. You guys have to be at my house. 
Thursday night, we're having a party with all of this new stuff from convention. Wouldn't you want to go more to that if someone you had connected with invited you that way than just sending out an invitation? The invitation should always be your follow-up. It should not be your main source of getting people there. But if you're pulling gorgeous stuff out, by the time you're done, people are going to be salivating to get to your house in a few days and to look at this stuff in person. So while catalogs are amazing and we all have to have them in what we do, it's so much more fun for people to see. You wouldn't really know that they sparkle as much as they do until you get them in front of a ring light. And then look, you're like, oh my gosh, you guys, picture this with your favorite graphic tee, put a moto jacket on. You can do styling, um, live styling videos when you pull this stuff out. Have your clothes, whatever brand clothes you like to wear, have those available, do styling videos and put the jewelry on and let people see your product, okay? So it's a great way to show your product. And then the third thing is it's quick cash, all right? So how many of you are doing end of the season sales events? Probably a lot. I've, I've seen a bunch of stuff on the page about people doing sales. You guys, it's quick cash. You can advertise for your event two days ahead of time. Tell people what you're doing. You get on there that night. You guys, oh my gosh, you guys, look, I have two pairs of these. Who wants them? They're about to be gone. Okay. You can sell your product. I'm guessing that's loud. I didn't even ask you if that's okay before I said that. Okay. But you can sell your summer sale that way. People will have so much fun if you get on a live and be yourself and sell your product, show them how gorgeous they are, put them in your ears. It's quick cash. You might not sell everything, but you're going to sell something. And then that's quick cash um, for you to be able to do on your life. And by the time you've built your community and people know about you and know who you are, they're going to be on your lives. If you've gone on and talked about your Aunt Gertie's baked apple pie, they're going to be on your lives. They're going to want to hang out with you. They're going to want to see what you have. If you're super excited about what you're showing them, they're going to be on your lives. Your excitement is going to bring your people in, okay? You can't be like, I have this like really good box. And if everybody's not doing something tonight, like if y'all aren't busy and everything, if you like have a minute, if you could just like jump on my live so I can just show you like all of this really pretty stuff, I'm sorry. But if that's someone, I'm not going to go, <laughs> okay? But if you're like, oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited about all this story. It's gorgeous. I don't even know which pair of rings is my favorite, but we're having a live tonight at seven o'clock. You have to be there. Grab your drink, put your kids down in there with your husband, and you have to be here. People are going to want to be there. Your excitement creates your audience, okay? Your excitement creates your audience when it comes to going live and actually selling your Parkland products, okay? Do we have any questions so far um, for these three things? I can't really see anything. Like, I know there's like a gallery view somewhere, but I can't see it. So Christy, you'll have to tell me, okay? I'll tell you, yes. And if y'all have questions too, you can also type them in the chat or say, I have a question and then we can pause. Oh wait, okay. Holly says. The light. Oh, yes. Okay. I have, it's in front of me. I can, I have no problem posting it. If, if um, Chrissy doesn't mind, I will post the link in um, Dreamcatcher's page. But it is actually a light from Amazon. I want to say it was $80, $89. This one, I've been through two, and this one's my favorite because it is, um, it swivels and it bends forward. Like, I have to use it for inventory, so it literally goes flat like this, which you could use for taking pictures of your jewelry. So it sits up like this, it bends all the way down like this. So you can angle it, twist it, it's amazing. So I will post the link to that um, in our Dreamcatchers page. It was $89 and it's like right now it's short and it goes all the way up to like almost six foot, I think. So you can literally do anything you want with it. It's great, so ring lights. Okay, so yeah, we will get to that, Sandy. I'm gonna tell you the logistics about how to do that part of it right here at the end, okay? Um, let me just say this, how to overcome your fear of going lives. You can only do it one way and that's just by doing it. Okay. It's it. You can only overcome your fear by doing it. I will tell you there are times now, I mean, you know, my, it, with LuLaRoe, it's like I get a box of inventory in and I have a goal every day as to how much I want to sell. There are days when I am literally paranoid that no one's going to be on my live that night. And I'm going to show all these pretty things and no one's going to buy anything. Okay. It's every day. It's every week. 
but it never stops me because I've learned that the best way to overcome that fear is to jump in and do it. You just have to do it. And if you'll start doing it with the building community aspect of it, by the time you get to onto a live to sell, you're going to be so ready to go. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. I love my lives. Um, a lot of little retailers don't do lives. They're literally behind a computer posting products and stuff like that. That is not me. I have to have that connection. We have fun. My husband jumps on there with me. Sometimes we play games. We've got a little wheel, um, a wheel that we use for wheel spins. Tonight we were filling up the wheel. We use it for wheel spins. So have a good time and be yourself on your live. That's the two best tips. Just dive in and do it. Okay. Logistics. Now, here's where the non, non fun part comes in. Okay. I'm going to give you these things and it's not really anything I can teach on this live because there's not enough time and space for me to teach all of this, but I'm going to tell you where you can learn all of this. Okay. The logistics of a live are this Facebook is an active organism. Okay. It is an active organism. Facebook rewards people that are social. Okay. It is a social organism and it rewards people that are social. So if you posted last Monday and you don't post until next Monday, Facebook thinks you're basically a party pooper. Okay. You have to literally be a social person on your personal Facebook page, your business page, and your group page. Okay. It's a lot of work. I'm not going to lie and tell you that it's not. It is a lot of work to remember. I literally have alarms on my phone reminding me because it's work, but you have to do it. You have to do it in order to get people to engage in your lives. Okay. So on your personal page, you guys are used to that. Just make sure that you're posting and make sure you're answering people. So I go live from my business page and I share that into my group. Now, the biggest difference is that on my business page, and you guys are more than welcome to check it out. It's Lula Road, Debbie McNally, it's super easy. Um, on my business page, you always wanna post something that asks a question that people have to answer, okay? And you want it to be something where there's at least a five word answer to it, all right? So don't just be like, do you like green or blue? Or do you like sunsets or sunrises, okay? People are gonna be like, sunrise, sunset green, blue. That is not a conversation where Facebook is concerned. You want to be like today, I posted, we just got back from a family reunion and I had like my cosmetic bags and stuff for like on the floor. So I took that opportunity. I took a picture of them and I was like, oh my gosh, I, you guys, I try and get everything unpacked. I don't remember how I worded it, but I basically asked them, are they an immediate unpacker or a procrastinating unpacker? So they're answering in sentences and not, yes, I unpacked. No, I don't. And that's what you want to do. That's the kind of engagement that you want. You want people to be answering you back in at least five word sentences. So make sure when you post it and it's live stuff. It's not my postings on my business page are very rarely about styles or products unless I'm wearing something. And then I'm posting myself in an outfit. Here's the stay, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll say, what was your favorite? Like I did, I had a black Carly on. I mean, everybody loves black dress. So I had it on with some super cute white Steve Madden's and white black and white tassel earrings and stuff. Well, I posted it on my page and I was like, it all goes back to that little black dress. Or something. I had like, I can't even tell you how many comments I made because people connect with that. They're like, yes, girl, black dress. That's where it's at. So make sure when you post on your business page that you are posting something that's going to ask, require a response back. Do that in the morning. If you're going to go live at night, you want to do that in the morning, as early in the morning as you can, because you want that engagement to be going. So by the time you go live at night, Facebook says, oh, she's been talking to her people all day long. So we're going to push her up in the newsfeed. That's how Facebook works. Um, if you go live and you haven't talked to people all day, you're kind of like a dud in the newsfeed. But if you've been engaging with people all day long, Facebook says, oh, She's been talking to her friends all day. We're going to kind of push her up a little bit and Facebook will push you up into the newsfeed. Okay. That's how Facebook works. Tuesdays, mark this down. That is the day that Facebook resets its algorithms. I do not go live on Tuesday night. <laughs> it is just too much of a mess. 
I don't, I usually go live during the day, but I do not go live at night on Tuesdays because that's the day they reset their algorithms and everything changes and they do it every Tuesday. There is not a consultant in LuLaRoe land that will tell you that they have fun on Tuesday because we just don't. Everything changes on Tuesday. So that's the day you really want to have some engagements going. You really want to be talking to people. When you post a picture of your product, like let's say you wanted to post about this because you're going live that night. This is new, this is new earrings you got in. You're going to go live that night. So you can post these on you. Don't post a picture of this. Facebook likes your face more than anything. They like your face more than anything. So remember that. So you're going to put these on. You're going to be like, you guys, oh my gosh, look at this pair of earrings in your post. Be smiling, be pretty, be upbeat. This is the most gorgeous pair of earrings. I have already decided what outfit I'm going to wear with these tonight. I'm going to wear a white t-shirt, jeans, and a black moto jacket. What would you put on with this pair of earrings? You will have people commenting on every kind of outfit you can possibly imagine. And then you need to make sure you're answering every single one of those people back. You don't have to sit glued to your phone. I just go every few minutes or every couple of times an hour. I'll just check my notifications and go over there and answer people. So that's kind of how you want to play your business page. If you do that, by the time you go live into your group, then you've had a lot of engagement. And like tonight, I had 25 people on within the first seven minutes of my live, which is great and sold. And I hit my goal tonight. So that's how you kind of have to play that is you have to think of Facebook as a social organism. You can Google um, you can Google Facebook algorithms and get a lot more knowledge. I read a lot of articles on it and then just kind of put it into practice. And we have a lot of trainings and stuff. And then also Facebook ads. Facebook ads are not as hard as they seem. If you will Google Facebook ads, Facebook itself has a training that trains you how to do Facebook ads. They're not as expensive as you think. I never, ever, ever go over my budget. I'm very strategic with ads and ads have brought people to my website. It has, I've had more people on my live when I do ads. You don't have to do them all the time, but if you've got a big shindig coming up, like after convention, you're going to want to run an ad for that. It will get people to your Facebook page. And the more people that like your Facebook page, the more people are going to be um, notified when you go live. Even if you're going live into your group, because you're live in both places at one time, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? So that is kind of the um, logistics of it. If somebody, if anybody has any questions about anything, just um, you can go ahead and put them in the comments. The how to's of it is just that being engaging, knowing Facebook algorithms and knowing what to do with those algorithms. It is 100% key. I think one of the biggest things that I've learned in doing this is you have to gain the knowledge. You have to take time out of your day to sit for an hour or something and watch training videos, figure out how to do things. There's nothing you cannot Google that's not there. Everything you want to know, you can Google. It's just that simple and you have to do that. Okay. So this is what I started doing on Tuesday nights. Um, I going live is almost just insane because that's the night the algorithms are wonky and a lot of times you'll get kicked off, but I will post a speed video that night or I'll go live during the day because if I go live during the day, chances are someone at some point in that day is going to see that before nighttime and they know that they can shop the replay. So I'm not saying that it's a day you don't want to do anything. You just can't get worked up about a Tuesday because Tuesdays are just crazy in Facebook world. So I just do different things on Tuesday. I'll maybe post, I'll maybe do like two or three speed videos and post those in my group because at some point somebody's going to get notified about something on that day. It's just a really, really wonky day for algorithms. And the best thing to do is to figure out when your group is going to love to shop. And those are the days that you need to key on. I almost do. I'm either usually live showing them something, but right now because it's summer and because you have to hit all kinds of people in the summer when it's regular summer's not when summer's not going on and everybody's on a regular schedule school kids all that kind of stuff it's a lot easier summer is a lot harder um my good times that are working for my days right now it's weird but it's like 11 and 3 and i think it's because a lot of people have jobs these days where they can sit they're sitting or doing whatever and they can have their phones 
or be on their computers. We have a lot of people be like, oh, I'm at work watching you right now. So for me in the summer right now, uh, 11 and three works almost better than seven, except that people know, and this is another thing too you can do. I feel like I'm just like jumping all over the place, but that's, that's normal because my brain just like kicks in, is have a consistent day when you know, so they know every Monday night, I'm going to be live no matter what. Monday nights at seven, they know that's my life. Everything else is random. So I, sometimes I make an event, sometimes I don't because I use a texting service. And so I've uh, several hundred people signed up for a texting service so we can send out a text. Um, events are a great way. We create events for the things that we do. And then we give away like $10 and make bucks for RSVPing to the event. Um, we'll give away like cash for that, like Lula, or make bucks cash for that. So we use everything. We do events, we do texting, we will post a graphic. You have to remember that when you're on Facebook, not everybody's on Facebook. When other people are on Facebook, you're not on Facebook. So you have to remember that there are literally different audiences all through the day. So let's say you were doing a park lane event that night. I would go live in the morning around 9.30 or 10 when people are taking a break at work. You might do a lunchtime live, little quick recap. Hey guys, I'm on here at lunch. I just wanted to remind you about my live tonight. I'm so excited. We're gonna have the most gorgeous hearings like this. I can't wait, get people to talk to you on the live. Remind them about four o'clock with a cute graphic in your group and then go live whenever you say you're gonna go live. So it's really good to have a consistent live that they know that day of that week, you're gonna be live no matter what. That's the day we usually do our giveaways. If we have a really good giveaway, that's the day we usually do our giveaway, they know that. And that's the day if we're gonna play a game, they know we're going to play a game that day. So give your group something to always expect, but then surprise them because you're going to get people that not everybody can watch a live at seven o'clock at night. Mamas with little babies are not on my lives at seven, but they're on my lives at 1130 because their kids are in daycare or whatever. So you kind of have to play around with that a little bit and figure out what your group really likes. Every group is going to be different. Um, and that's what you kind of have to play around with, but you don't know if you don't go live. And figure out what it is that they like. Does that make sense? And then yes, somebody asked something about a video. I don't know what the questions were. I missed that question. It popped. There was a question that popped up. I think it did. Uh, basically, what is a speed video? Can you explain? Yes. Okay. So a speed video, I'm gonna try to, to, to bring this to park lane level. What kind of games? Oh, I'll tell you those. Those are fun. Let me write that down. Games are so much fun, you guys. Your your groups are gonna love games. All right, so in a speed video, what I do, I'm gonna Okay, I'm gonna think about what to do with Lula Ron do at Park Lane. Okay, let's say you are you've got 10 pairs of earrings that you you want to sell. Okay. So ring light, it's amazing. There's actually where my phone is, there's a little stand on there so you can put your phone on it. Okay. Um, so if you were gonna do a speed sell, you could literally say, All right, you guys, we're gonna do 10 in 10 seconds. I'm gonna show you all these gorgeous earrings we have for sale. Every one of these is you're going to record this and you're going to do every one of these pairs of earrings is $9.99. Jump on it super quick before someone else does. Make your post in the comments. Earring flash sale, every pair $9.99. Comment with a screenshot or if you number them, however you do it, and post in the comments below. And then you're going to, you'll, however you can do it. Let's just say this is a table and you've laid them all on this table. So you're going to go number one, number two, number three, number four number five, and it's literally a speed video. And people love speed videos because everybody's busy these days and everybody's shopping. You could do it with your necklaces. Um, it, it's gonna be tricky um, according to what kind of jewelry you have, but I think it's totally doable with any, you could have them laid out on a table and just like slide them out of the way, number one, number two, number three. But the easiest thing with our stuff, I think is to have everything at one price point like all of your $9.99 stuff together, all of your, however, I don't know, your 14, whatever you're selling them for. Try to have your price points together. Or you could be like, I have these four pair of earrings left. This is it, you guys. Once these are gone, these are gone. Here's number seven forty or number four. These are $6.99. Here's number seven. These are $4.99. Here's number 11. These are $19.99. Here's number 12. These are $8.99. All right, you guys, all you got to do is comment, screenshot it, post it in the comments below, and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks. And it's super easy and people love it and that, that's something you could do in the morning let's say you had um your kids have ball games in the afternoon like we've got a grandson has a ball game at five tomorrow so it's the morning 
you could literally create, create three or four speed videos. And then Facebook has this nifty little thing called a scheduler that you can go to post those videos. You could schedule that video to post at one o'clock in the afternoon if you wanted to. So there's a lot of fun things to learn on Facebook. So Debbie, would you save that video like on your phone, like you recorded on your phone? Okay, got it, yeah. Yep, save it on, but even an album, let's say you're doing, a, you're doing an album sale. You could literally, and you've got a full busy day planned. You could literally photograph every single piece of jewelry and when you go to upload that album into photos, it'll ask you what time you want that to post. If you know you have a bunch of early rising mamas that are in your group, post that thing to go at 7.30 in the morning. Post a video at 7.30 in the morning. That's the beauty of some of the good things that Facebook has. And that's another way. And you have to remember, that's kind of a live too. You're showing them you, you're showing them who you are, and they're seeing your face. And people love to connect with a one-on-one -on -one connection. And even though you're trying to connect with like a few thousand other people to that person, you're connecting with them. Does that make sense? Yes, okay. Season, I think you can Google that. What was she wanting to Google? Am I muted? No, not anymore. Okay. Um, how to schedule posts. It's easy. If you go Google that, it'll tell you exactly what to do. Literally so easy. The minute you hit photos, the minute you hit photos, it'll say photo. Let's see. It'll say, if you want to create an album and then it'll say schedule. And if you, you can create that album, you can hit schedule and it will, I mean, you can schedule it four days out if you want to. No, I do do Instagram. I do do Instagram. I'm, it's not my favorite because it's like I said, everything is so much work. I do do Instagram, but Instagram is more, it's not about selling for me. It's about connecting with people on social media. Um, I'm going to connect more with someone who's showing me their life than someone who's trying to sell me something. And so on Instagram, I always post, oh, it's always in LuLaRoe, you know, until now I've got to add all of this to it, which is going to be so much fun. Um, but to me, Instagram is another social platform that will connect people. Um, oh, Oh, it's and listen, I am not, I will just tell you guys right now, I am not comfortable in front of the camera. I am not comfortable. If you knew how many outtakes there were for me to even post a picture on picture on Facebook, you have absolutely no idea. I I inherited this really fake smile that my mom has and she knows she has it, so I'm not being facetious to her. But it's this really fake smile and I literally have to be made to laugh for a really natural smile to come out. So I'm not comfortable like I am not a selfie person you just will not see that for me so it's something I really have to work at which is why oh my gosh Holly that's like the legit truth my I'm, my husband's like going just keep moving I'll keep taking the photo so you have to understand something I'm not comfortable with that this is not like oh let me get in front of a bunch of people okay tonight you guys when my life started not even kidding I had lipstick on my teeth okay I had just put lipstick on I had lipstick on my teeth I'm standing there talking, I squinted my eyes, I was like, guys, I got lipstick on my teeth. And I turned around and got it up, and they're just cracking up laughing, okay? So you do not have to be perfect in any of this. Share who you are, share your silliness. My group knows how I am. They know that I love shoes. They know that I love coach purses. They also know what a scatterbrained hot mess I can be sometimes, because I share that with them. They know that. That's how you build that community. And when you, you build that community, people are going to, you're going to be their part-time stylist because they love you. That's not saying they're not going to buy something from someone else every once in a while, but you're going to build a community of people loyal to you to where they're going to come to you first before they go to anyone else to see if you can take care of them because you've built that relationship with them through showing who you are and sharing your life with them by going live. It is a terrifying thing when you first get started, but you guys, you will learn to love it. I love, love, love going live with my community. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. So I wondered like, what can you guys think of something like right now? Post it in the comments. Think of something that you love that you think your community could connect with. Mine is like shoes. It's an instant community connector. Yeah. See cooking. Yeah. My group loves it. They know I don't. Perfect. Yeah, I love it. 
being single. I love it. That's awesome. Share that with people. Home decor. I love it. These are all ways you vote. If you love home decor, when you're at home, go get on the live and be like, oh my God, you guys, I'm at home. Look at this gardening. Love it. All of these things. Holy moly, Agnes. I can't even imagine that. I did a live one night with my grandkids here. You guys, it was a hot mess. My group absolutely loved it. They thought my grandkids were adorable. They bought things like they probably wouldn't have bought anyway, <laughs> you know, but they bought it because my granddaughters were showing it to them. They love it. We share about our grandkids. We have 10. And so they know how busy our life is with our grandkids. So we're always going to the ball game or something like that. And we share it with them. See, that's how you connect with people. And it's easy to connect behind a screen with a post, it's a lot harder to connect by going live with people and actually sharing those things with people. But the more that you do it, the more comfortable you get. And then you eventually just learn to love what you do. I love, there are people, if they're not on my live, I'm texting them going, are you okay? You weren't on the live tonight. I, I, I don't even care at this point so many times that people buy anything as much as I care that they're on there. And that we're talking and having a good time. And people always ask me about my husband and where he's been and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And that's what you want to do. I think that I honestly feel like Parkland is kind of just getting started. I know it's been around for a while, but I feel like it's just coming on the social scene and we have an opportunity. I, I, I couldn't find any stylists in my area. And it, they were hard to find on Facebook. So you and I have an opportunity to really get on a social media platform and build a community. Elizabeth, I have not done YouTube. There's a lot of LuLaRoe consultants that do it. I would tell you to look up a LuLaRoe consultant named Betsy Thompson. If you want um, a, um, an idea of what I think a successful YouTube following is. I know for our company, Betsy Thompson, I mean, the girl is doing line products now. That's how successful she is on YouTube. Um, but I would look her up. She's phenomenal on YouTube. Okay, anybody else? Oh, hope that answered everybody's questions. I feel like that, like, um, you know, the, the timer person, but it's gonna cut us off and I don't want it to cut you off. Oh, games. I can post in the group though after this. Um, games. We play spin the wheel where we fill up a wheel. Every time someone's orders, we do that. We play um, pop the balloon where we put prizes in a balloon. We do that. Uh, we have done um, bingo live, which is a blast. You can buy those from. Um... So Sandy, we have an actual payment system that we have to invoice people through. I haven't with Park Lane so far. I've just, my mom's given me her credit card and that's it, but we have that. But um that's kind of a touchy thing because I don't think we have like a payment system with park lane. We, it's actually just, you just have to invoice people. Right. But I would invoice them immediately. And I would let people know, Hey, listen, guys, we need this invoice paid in, in um, so much time. My husband sometimes will sit on my lives and invoice while I'm on the live. And if you could find somebody to do that for you, that would be fantastic. And then you have people come back and say, Hey, it's all paid. And you put their name on a wheel, which I'll post the link.